Art Aids America recently opened at Tacoma Art Museum. Described by stranger art critic Jen Graves as a, quote, messy masterpiece, the exhibit was 10 years in the making, and here with the details is the man behind the curtain, Rock Hushka. Hi, okay. Rock. Nice Good. to see you. Good morning. Thanks. For Glad to be here. Well, congratulations on getting this incredible show okay. on its feet. So let's start out with a kind of an overall big question. Why did you have to do um, this show? Um, there are a number of reasons. Uh, for me, the most important one is a reminder that the AIDS crisis is unfolding, continuing to unfold very quietly, but very dramatically. Mm -hmm. And there seems to be no discussion about this mm -hmm. in the general public. Mm -hmm. um, with the statistic we, uh, we use is that every 10 and a half minutes, on average, an American becomes HIV positive. Wow. We've become so accustomed to thinking about Africa, Southeast Asia, mm -hmm. places over there right. that we don't think about our own backyards. Mm -hmm. Well, as we were talking earlier, you were saying that um, this is not an art show about AIDS. It's an artistic response. How well, would you describe it? Well, it is. Um, it's an exhibition about the way American art and artists responded and mm -hmm. then absorbed mm -hmm. all of the things that mm -hmm. happened around the AIDS crisis mm -hmm. from activist work to now this more uh, elegiac, mournful, poetic, mm -hmm. um, even at times resilient and humorous kind of responses. Mm -hmm. Well, so as we, you were just saying, I mean, so much has changed over these 40-ish years, I would guess. Is that about the right um, time frame? We're, we're calling about 30, 30 or so years from years. the earliest work is 1981. Okay. And, uh, and so does the show have an arc of from that point to, to, till to, now? To the present, mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. One of the central works in the exhibition is the a recreation of a work called Let the Record Show. Mm -hmm. And this was a window installation in the new museum in the Bowery in New York okay. uh, that was originally installed in 1987. Mm -hmm. And the Curator uh, William Olander and the director Marcia Tucker invited members of this new grassroots organization called ACT UP, mm -hmm. uh, the AIDS Coalition to Unleash Power, to do something to bring, to elevate the street presence of awareness about the AIDS crisis. Mm -hmm. And so they did this series of reminders about all of the politicians, the the people that make policy, the, the commentators, and how the homophobia and mm. AIDS phobia exacerbated the AIDS crisis. Mm -hmm. So it was a very damning indictment mm -hmm. of the political situation. Mm -hmm. And this is the first time that the group Grand Fury has recreated this work mm -hmm. in so total. So that's kind of the kind of central so piece. So central piece, mm -hmm. yeah. Is there anything else that for you that stands um, out that really speaks to you? Well, what, there's, a, there's this whole arc of stuff. And one of the things that we wanted to do is make sure that we included images that reminded people of the, the terror mm -hmm. and the, the way that AIDS ravaged individuals. Mm -hmm. And so there's a photograph by Alan Reininger mm -hmm. um, of, of a portrait of this man, Ken Meeks, and so what Reininger would do was spend a lot of time with individuals uh, who, who were diagnosed with AIDS and then take their, a series of portraits. Mm -hmm. And then this portrait of uh, Ken Meeks was included in Life magazine. Uh, three days after Reininger took this portrait, Meeks passed away. Mm -hmm. And the, this photograph is how most Americans understood AIDS. Yes. It, it came into their homes mm -hmm. and they could see mm -hmm. this thing that was ravaging mm -hmm. um, their fellow citizens. So that's one mm -hmm. kind of example. But then on the other end of the, ex the spectrum, we have some more recent work that mm -hmm. speaks uh, to the new relationship that you people have. Pull out one piece um, for me. Well, my favorite work is a video by Callup Lindsay. Mm -hmm. And the, he's a young African-American artist in Manhattan. Mm -hmm. And he and his friend, Sean Leonardo, are lip syncing to this 1934 um, Hunter and Jenkins song called Lollipop. Mm -hmm. And sure, they're, they're being playful, it's, it's toying with ideas of gender and masculinity and all, all of these things that are very important. But if you don't remember that as they progress in their sexual exchange, if you don't remember that HIV is a critical part of what they're going to have to navigate, mm -hmm. whether it's silently, whether it's they have an overt conversation about it, mm -hmm. you obliterate part of their experience. Mm -hmm. And that obliteration, I think, is one of the things that I hope that this, this exhibition 
prevents, mm. that you have to think about what the other person's experience is. The big picture of right. that. Well, uh, congratulations. Um, Art AIDS America runs now through January 10th, 2016. Can't believe I'm saying that. Uh, at Tacoma Art Museum. Also, there's a, a book that is available. Um, it's through University Press. It is in the gift uh, store at um, Tacoma Art Museum. I'm sure you might be able to find it online as well. Well, thank you so much. I really admire you. Great. Thank yeah, you. Great yeah. to be here. Yeah.